after Taylor Swift's From the Vault song, You're Losing Me, was released on streaming sites, Swifties went crazy. The song, which was first made available digitally on her website in May, is said to make reference to her six-year breakup with Joe Alwyn. However, You're Losing Me was finally made available on streaming services like Spotify on Wednesday, and fans were ecstatic to have the song at their disposal. Happy Swifites took to X to discuss their conflicting emotions on Taylor's ex-boyfriend Joe, as well as their joy at the release. Legend has it You're Losing Me was written using Joe Alwyn's tears as ink, remarked an admirer in a humorous way. Another uploaded a funny picture of a character from a video game stuck to their computer while their bedroom caught fire. The fan tweeted on X, Not now, sweetie, You're Losing Me is out now on streaming platforms. They shared a gif of Oprah Winfrey, and many couldn't believe the song was suddenly readily accessible. Oh my God, are you losing me everywhere? Are you kidding me? The fan questioned. A dedicated follower uploaded a picture of Taylor at the Grammys next to a beaming Camilla Cabello, who was the embodiment of all Swifites. Swift had an image edited over the You're Losing Me music. You're Losing Me is now available on streaming services. The fan tweeted the picture along with, Thank you, Mother. Vice President Kamala Harris, in another widely circulated video from the day of President Biden's electoral victory. The fan added, You're finally losing me out on all streaming platforms. I prayed for times like this. For several others, the song evoked conflicting emotions regarding Taylor and Joe's six-year romance. Happy for those who desired, another individual said, I can't listen to that song or I will think about train drives by tires screeching Joe Alwyn, even though you're losing me is available for streaming. Happy holidays, Joe Alwyn. Another said, stop your losing me is available on streaming. I just hope now that you're losing me is on streaming services. Someone said in support of the actor, people should leave Joe alone and refrain from bullying him. When we initially heard the music, didn't you harass him enough? Remove Joe Alwyn from here. After being named Spotify's global top artist in 2023, Swift thrilled fans by releasing the From the Vault song, You're Losing Me, on streaming services at last. The performer, who has the highest Spotify listener count, with almost 26.1 billion global streams at the end of 2023, they resorted to social media to gush over the unreal moment. Um, okay, this is unreal, she wrote. I just wanted to express my gratitude to everyone, anywhere in the globe, who has listened to my music this year. The finest birthday and holiday present you could have given me is definitely being awarded Spotify's Global Top Artist in 2023. We've been on tour this year and have had the best time ever. Are you serious? Your Losing Me from The Vault has been requested by many of you to be streamed, so I was trying to think of a way to say thank you. So now that you're ready, at last you may now listen wherever. It's thought that the song alludes to her split from her long-term partner, Joe. Swift sings on the song, I Wouldn't Marry Me Either, a pathological people-pleaser who only wanted you to see her. The song has additional lyrics that read, Maybe you dealt the last blow, but do I throw out everything we built or keep it? I'm getting tired even for a phoenix, always rising from the ashes, mending all her gashes. The Enchanted Singer, who currently has over 108 million monthly listeners on the streaming platform, won the top spot in the UK in 2022. The pop sensation has had yet another extremely successful year. The US leg of her era's tour is projected to have brought in close to $5 billion in consumer spending alone. Only two UK artists, Drake and The Weeknd, who came in second and third respectively, joined Taylor in the top five most streamed artists in the country. Spotify wrapped 2023 
is a summary of the 574 million global listeners that the streaming behemoth has this year. The company revealed that Ed Sheeran and Arctic Monkeys have pried into fourth and fifth place in the UK. However, Taylor didn't just win the title of Most Listened To in the UK, she also won the title Globally. For the first time in the previous three years, Bad Bunny was not the most listened to musician worldwide. However, the Puerto Rican rapper did come in second after releasing Un Verano Sin Ti, the album that has been streamed the most in 2023, which has received an incredible 4.5 billion plays since January 1st. The Weaked despite the fact that his 2016 album Starboy was the fourth most streamed album worldwide, came in third place. Drake, Peso Pluma, Field and Travis Scott, who released his eagerly awaited album Utopia in July, came after The Weakened. SZA, whose highly regarded album SOS revolutionized the R&B genre, was the eighth most streamed artist worldwide. S.O.S. was the third highest streamed album globally on Spotify, featuring singles like Kill Bill, Snooze, and Good Days. S.C.A. is followed in ninth and tenth place by crooner Lana Del Rey and Carol G. Swift has achieved significant success with two tracks that were among the top ten songs internationally streamed on Spotify. Her 2022 hit song, Antihero, and her 2016 single Cruel Summer came in 6th and 10th, respectively, on the list. With over 1.6 billion plays since January 1st, Miley Cyrus's Flowers has become the world's most listened to song of 2023. SZA, featuring Kill Bill and As It Was by Harry Styles, came in 2nd and 3rd. With around 1.5 billion plays, as it was previously held the title of most streamed song on the platform in 2022. Swift's record sales this year reflected the same success. Midnights and Lover, two of the country singers' efforts, turned out to be international favourites, ranking second and eighth in terms of album listens, respectively.